Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable JSON Web Token authentication on your WordPress REST API. We're going to use the GWT authentication plugin by Enrique Chavez. So if you'd like to give Enrique a beer, you can find him here at enriquechavez.co. For the ones of you that don't know what JSON Web Tokens are, head over to jwt.io to learn more. Besides enabling JSON Web Token authentication, you're also going to learn how to build a kick-ass WordPress development environment using nothing more than two Docker images. So let's head over to the terminal and let's pull those images from the Docker Hub. So Docker pull MySQL. I already have it on my machine, so there's nothing to pull. And we're going to do the same for WordPress. And again, I have it on my machine, so there's nothing to pull from the Docker registry. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to start a database container. Before that, let's create a directory to host our project. So make dir wpjwt auth. Let's cd into it. Let's clear the screen. So we are going to use the following command. I won't go into details about what each and every parameter means, but if you need more information, be sure to check the comment section because I will leave links and details in there. So right now we have the database running. If we check its logs, docker logs f mysql, we see that everything is up and running. Let's also see if the database files inside the container are persisted here and they are now we can start the wordpress container i'm not going to go into details about the command itself all i'm going to say is that we're going to access the container on port 7777 on our host machine so docker ps a the container is running let's check its logs we need to see that apache is running and it is let's head over to the browser and see that our wordpress install is okay localhost 7777 and yes we have a new wordpress installation let's continue with the setup right now and then head over to the administration so we'll give it a title wp rest api JWT demo. Let's give it a simple username, admin, a really safe password. Now the email address. Good. Now let's log in. So it's admin, password, remember me. And we're inside the WordPress dashboard. So first things first, let's see if the API is running. So we'll switch over to Postman. And I have a couple of requests here. So We'll just try to pull the posts. And as you can see, the request failed. Unfortunately, it fails because of the way we have our permalink set up. So if we use question mark, rest, route, and delete the wp-json prefix and hit enter, then we can see our post here. So this is because of our permalink structure. So let's go back to the dashboard settings permalinks and choose the post name permalink structure. Save changes. And if we head back to Postman and delete the rest route and revert to WP JSON and make the request, now it works. This is great. Let's now install the JSON web token authentication plugin. So we'll head over to plugins, add new. Let's search for JWT. It's the first plugin that appears in the search results. So we'll hit install now. And you should be mindful that just by clicking install now doesn't mean that you can use the plugin. You'll also have to click activate. And now the plugin is active. Let's click view details and look at the documentation because there are a couple of steps we need to perform. I'm going to go through them in order. So let's add this to HT access. Because we persisted the project files onto our local machine, it's very easy for us to edit files that are inside the container without having to SSH into it. We're going to edit wordpress.ht access. And we only need to add one line from here, which is the rewrite rule. And then we also need to add this line. Let's hit save. Let's clear the screen. And the next step is to configure our secret key. So this is the key that will be used 
to sign all our tokens. So we're going to edit wp-config.php and we'll just drop it here. Good. Let's head over to Postman and see if anything changed. Nothing has changed. We still see our posts. The JSON Web Token plugin is exposed through this path or this endpoint on the WordPress API, this URL generates a token for us. Now that we've performed the updates, we have to restart our WordPress container. So we're going to use Docker restart WordPress because we modified HD access, Apache needs to restart in order to read the new options we specified. Now that it restarted, let's head over to Postman. Let's create a new request. And this is the endpoint we're going to hit. And if we send the empty request, sure enough, the plugin replies and it says empty username. The username field is empty because it requires the username and password to be passed in the body of the request, so password. And if we send it, we should get a token. Now, this is great. We have this token, but we don't have anything to query it against. We could delete a post, for example, but let's do something else. Let's create a new post and let's set its visibility to private. Let's update it. So now that it's published, let's head back to Postman and make the request again. So as you can see, there is only one post, which is the public one. We don't get the private one. And the reason is you need to send the authorization header along with every request in order to access password protected data. So let's hit the checkbox and enable it. The token is the one we got from our request to the JWT auth endpoint. And not only this, but we also need to pass a specific param, which is status and the status can be one of the following private any publish and draft as far as i can remember so if we only leave private here and send the request we are only getting the private article if we hit any for example then we're getting the private article and also the published article the one that's available to everyone Okay, in a nutshell, this is what I had for you today and hopefully you find it useful. If you did, subscribe, follow me on everything and see you next time.